<laughs> so anyway, with that being said, whoa, 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 the Amorosa tapes. Could we please start with with asking first of all? A has anyone not taped secretly taped uh, Trump? That's the first question. Uh, I have not <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet. Perfect. So we have Amorosa that claimed to tape. We have Michael Cohen, his lawyer, that mm-hmm. taped, and there's a third. Oh, uh, oh, you know, oh, just the Russian uh, president that secretly taped him. So pretty much, I'd say that. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here with Amorosa, but just to give viewers a catch up, okay, Amorosa went on Meet the Meet the Press today. <laughs> she <laughs> uh, Meet the Press, not Meet the Hollywood Press, and she dropped some bombshells, starting with that she that there is a tape that exists when um, Trump was filming The Apprentice where he used the N word. Also, um, she <laughs> played Chuck Todd, who clearly almost was jumping I mean I, I never seen him this excited I was looking at the show like without sound like it was up on the screen and it sort of was like like jumping over the counter like like are you sure like wait but, like you know the, getting to the meat of it all but that basically she played the tape of her firing because she was the what was her um, official title, Alina? Oh, it was goodness. like, it was like within the administration. Yeah. Yes, it was like outreach, African American outreach. American outreach. outreach. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes. So liaison to public something. Okay. Or, yeah. Which I don't know. Well, anyway, her book, <laughs> which by the way I love her book. Her book is titled Unhinged. <laughs> it's like like a survivor's account of the White House or something. <laughs> something to late. What's the? So I'm saying I mean, the, that's a good analogy at this point. It is. Yes, it, it really is. is. So let's start with this question, okay? Uh, it's a two-parter. So first I want to say, okay, do we believe that the tape exists, Jordan? Uh, I, I think the larger point for me, because I can't say. I mean, what do I know? Based she she said yeah. She said that it was something that was rumored at the time that she wrote the book. In between yeah. the uh, turning the book in for publishing and this interview this morning yes. with Chuck Todd, she said she actually heard it. Yes. So that it, she swears it exists. It, and, and thinks that it won't be released by those in possession of it until right before the election to, you know, October spring and surprise. October surprise. Either a midterm or a 220 surprise. So then, Madison, I ask you this. If the tape exists, okay, what do you feel, though, about the fact, do you feel that um, as an ambitious person that she was, even knowing, say, pretend that The Apprentice tape that we that most people believe, to, oh, half the country believes to, to exist and does exist, do you think then why did she go she went in knowing that because that tape was filmed way what's your feeling on that i mean i think that's ridiculous if she really did hear trump say the n-word during her time as the apprentice why now and also all the people that knew her from her time in the white house (laughs) are all completely shocked by these allegations because they're like yeah dude you've been so nice about trump up until the time that you were fired yeah beyond that i don't think regardless of when the tape is released, if it even is released ever, I think it's going to be completely inconsequential because people believe what they want to believe about Trump. They're not changing their opinion. Yeah, that is the larger point that I was going to get at is that even if you have him repeatedly saying it on multiple occasions, it's not going to matter. The Uh, tape was released of him literally talking about women before the... Just to to recap that, grabbing women by the P, yes, the genitalia on an access Hollywood tape. We always want to make sure people... Right, right. So that was released before we all went to the polls and look who is sitting in the Oval Office right now. So oh, it, Alina, it doesn't matter. I want to know what you think of this, but yeah, I absolutely think that he's praying the N-word tape gets released because it's <laughs> right. just going to fire up his base more. I mean, like, literally, mm-hmm. they're, like, okay, we thought it was insane when he said during the campaign, I could literally go onto, like, Madison Avenue and shoot a person and I won't lose votes. Yeah. Guess what? I think that that was the most truthful thing he has said since, like, he's been, you know, running for president. What do you think? I think you guys are all on the right path here. I think even if the tape does come out, I think it does exist. Yeah. I don't put it past him. Um, it's not going to change his base's opinion of him. We yes. kind of know where the base stands as far as race relations go. Um, it might sway some of those independent voters who voted for him. Yeah. But um, I think he's pretty much put everything out there <laughs> for everyone to see. Oh, yeah. You know who he is. And the yeah. fact that she went in there knowing this 
And then she comes on Meet the Press today being like, oh, well, I was blinded and, you know, this, that, and the other. No, honey. No. No. <laughs> no. Donald Trump's favorite thing in the world is campaigning. Yes. I don't think he likes yeah. being president. No. I think he loves campaigning. Oh, he So he's just no. like, all of you that have stuff on me. he never stopped doing it. Yeah, he So I think he's like, anyone who has something on me, bring it. I'm ready. Yeah. It's just going to make me love campaigning Well, Jordan, more. you're right. Yeah. Like, when you say he's never stopped doing it, I loved it when it was like, <laughs> oh, so, like, what is the vice president going to do? And he basically described, like, what the president does. Like, and then Pence will do all that. And it's like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm going to rally. I got to yeah. rally. <laughs> and you I got to pump up the crowd, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> he's like the Flavor Flav. <laughs> he's, in the, he's, he's a hype, hype man. man. <laughs> yes, he's it's, a hype man. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So, because we could all talk, like, about Trump specifically. So, bringing it back around to sort of our angle here because Omarosa is a Hollywood figure in the sense that she she garnered fame and attention through The Apprentice on NBC. What do you feel just in her in her is it just to sell books or do because I see this I see two sides of the debate here I see a lot of like and Alina you can weigh on this Black Twitter is like there's people saying like after this is all said and done she's not going to have a community left and then yep. she's not going to have employment I think whose quote was it she's not going to have employment left or a community, community. exactly because basically it's sort of like she's going to make a lot of money off the book and because I'm going to I'm going to write by buy it. I sure yeah. I'm buying that book I can't wait to tear into it <laughs> but um what is your opinion on that okay you're going to buy the book and then you're going to tell me about it <laughs> <laughs> and her money is not going yeah. to that <laughs> mine either right. exactly no I I completely agree I think, you know, she lost the job. I think yeah. she's doing a lot of this to promote her book, obviously. She's yeah. smart in that sense. <clears throat> she knows exactly what to say, when to say it, to promote herself. Yes. Um, as far as the community having it, no. No. Yes. I mean, she kind of sold her soul, and this is, she's reaping what she says. She 100% sold her, or sold her soul. Stole, sold. Sold her <laughs> soul. Sold her sold. soul. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got it. She definitely did. I mean, she was on Celebrity Big Brother, and all the little nuggets mm -hmm. that she dropped there, that already went to show that she's yeah. in it for herself. She wants fame. She wants the attention now. And honestly, whatever is written in that book, do we care? Just add it to the do list. Do we believe it, too? Because yeah. her credibility is so it's shot so now. Shot. It's like, it could be true, and but we don't know. Why did she have credibility to begin Get with? Thank you. It's a woman Thank who hitched you. her wagon to Donald Trump 15, 20 years ago? <laughs> I know. Well, the, the and also still continued to be a part of his administration after all these things that she knew about him right. from yeah. time on a reality mm -hmm. show. Jordan, mm -hmm. just because you're you're many times more smarter than I am on these issues, <laughs> as we Jordan used to work with me at The Wrap, and I would defer to him on the more like more intelligent, higher brow things than even I could understand. Man, I'm, I don't know so, what kind no, of statement so, that so is. I'm gonna, <laughs> no, I'm going to ask you about this. Do you think that she is in legal jeopardy, though, for the fact, because I'm trying to figure out how she's able to talk about all the stuff that she, I, like you sign, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, agreements to work well, in the White and, House. And in that Chuck like, Todd interview, she concedes that um, she was offered a job regardless of whether she actually was going to do anything or not, because the job was a facade to get her to sign the NDA that was, I mean, <laughs> it was like in perpetuity, and you can't say yeah. anything even after you're dead, and, you know, like, so um, that's, you know, if they want to pursue legal action, they can, but yeah. you get yourself in trouble when you do that as the as the as the the one protecting themselves. Well, as of now, at this time, because I almost want to pull up Twitter, has he responded directly about her? I have not because seen that. Let me pull it up. Silence is very telling from Donald Trump um, because I'm when, pretty sure I read something saying he called her lame. Oh, so he, he just like brushed her off. Like, oh no, he called her yeah. low life. He called her oh, lame. Oh, low life. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. Okay. Um, true story. I was seated when maybe like three years ago there was an award ceremony um, and, I'm, and the names escaping me it was a smaller one during the week and I went to represent the site at the time I sat directly next to her at the table mm -hmm. that I was placed at she couldn't have been like again couldn't have been the most like so unlike what you see on the screen couldn't have been the most right. more lovely person I actually spoke with her her she was there with like I think at the time the guy that she's now married because like by the way I love it that she needed a hyphenated name because Omarosa was not going to be recognizable to, the, to, to enough people so let me hyphenate which, my which name which Omarosa <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> <laughs> it's like so Amarosa Stan Stanaholt was taken so she needed to hyphenate Newman but anyway I digress <laughs> um, I think from this perspective she's hopefully she really cashes in on this book and then it gets turned into like say a movie because I agree with that statement like sh this is like burning down like she <laughs> she's not going out quietly after this she said she wasn't but um 
talk about just burning it to the ground. I mean, not for nothing. People have said those same 